we are outside Grand Central Terminal right now, having a snack. Uh, we've been to um, Bloomingdale's this morning. We've wandered around in multiple wrong directions and uh, we are headed to Central Park after this. We're gonna have a little walk. Milo likes to see the little parks around there. There's loads of little play areas and things. And then we're gonna go for lunch at the Boathouse. feel myself tripping fully over. Um, we've just come out of the boathouse where we had dinner and um, it was not as snooty as I expected it to be. Came back for a rest again today which definitely seems to be the right thing to do and um then we went back out to see the tree again because we just wanted to get out of the room but it wasn't you know, we weren't really hungry enough for proper go out for dinner um we just walked along fifth avenue um saw some of the uh window displays and the sax show again i love it it's just i think it's just the music and the lights and that's been like a real highlight the sax display all of these things like the rockets the sax thing all of these things are on youtube i've watched them before obviously different in person but if you want to go and see the full thing you can find them milo is having a sleepover with us um and lee is actually getting some sleep because milo is bouncing off the walls from a very very early hour uh, and tomorrow we have no set plans i'm not sure what we're gonna do camera to say hello today so hello good afternoon slash good evening um we have been um all over the place today we went to see uh, the hudson yards this morning the vessel walked over the high line did chelsea market walked a little bit around chelsea went to union square christmas market which was great um and i got some little decorations let me show you them world's most expensive decorations but um i was here once when the union square market was like wasn't quite christmas the trees and things weren't up but i did go to that market um and this is from a brand called craft spring which is in brooklyn and they do a little pop-up at union square so expensive 
but I haven't bought very much while we've been here and I wanted to get a few little Christmas souvenirs. So we got the kids to pick a decoration each. Um, Ella picked this one, which I think is actually the one that I was on the verge of choosing for myself. And Milo picked this one, which I thought was pretty cute, but also it is um, reminiscent of my Vlogmas intro. So we've come back to the hotel to kind of freshen up, have a little bit of a rest. We're gonna go back out. I wanna see the Christmas tree again, because I want to see the Christmas tree again. We want to go to the NBC store because we didn't get anything from um, the Rockettes. I'm really, really hoping that around there, if not in the NBC store, they may have the uh, souvenirs. I might have missed my opportunity because I didn't get them in the actual show, but we'll see. I want to go and see the Palace Christmas tree and um, we may go to an Irish bar. I Googled it. It seems like kids are allowed in there. I called. I forgot to ask that question, but I did ask about reservations. I was like, I can't call again and ask another question. I should be back in right now, but instead Ella and I fell down a rabbit hole on TikTok and it's been hours. Uh, and I just remembered I hadn't finished my vlog. So, hey, the palace tree wasn't there. I've also forgotten to Google this. I don't know if it's just not there. If we were looking in the wrong place, I don't know, uh, but it wasn't there. I was prepared for the gates to be closed because I had heard that um, they only open that area for a certain amount of hours per day because they don't want uh, tourists to kind of, <laughs> they don't want tourists to ruin the experience for the tourists, but they don't want tourists to ruin the experience for the guests that are actually staying in the hotel. As much as I don't want to be leaving, I also am kind of like, I'm okay with it because it's only going to get busier now. When we first arrived, it was just before the tree had been lit. All the stuff wasn't going on. It was much calmer. And then almost immediately, the day after the tree had been lit, well, the day the tree, the tree was being lit, it was just hordes and hordes. And now it was overnight. One day, completely fine, normal streets. The next night, there's people all up and down the streets. Um, like the whole area around Rockefeller is barricaded constantly. People are selling things on the streets. It's like every day is Disney on ice. Um, so absolutely nuts. And we're staying right by the Rockefeller at the Hilton Midtown. It is really, really close. So something to bear in mind. It's really nice to be here for Christmas. It's amazing to see all of the decorations and obviously the tree itself. But if you are planning on staying super close to Rockefeller in December time specifically, I would say just be prepared because it's a lot of people. I also wanted to mention the um, check-in. So we've done check-in. I've done Verify to go home. I'm actually really enjoying the Verify process because it means that you've got so many different things ahead of time that you have to be like, yes, I've got this, yes, I've got this, yes, I've got this. And then it gives you the full checklist of, have you got all these things before you go to the airport? Yes, you got. And that's fantastic, especially now, but kind of I quite like to keep that. Um, so we had to do these locator forms, which were a little bit of a pain to do while you're on holiday. But basically two days before you arrive back in the UK, you have to do these locator forms, which says um, you will be here when you arrive in the UK, you will do the PCRs and this is where you'll be quarantining before you get your negative PCR results. Um, takes like a bunch of information. You then use that to put onto your Verify if that's your like check for your authorization form for coming home. Now, a few things have changed since we left. I know that now um, you have to do your lateral flow test the day before you actually come to the States, which is annoying, but you know, they are making changes constantly. I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last one, because I've had a few questions on Instagram about um, tracking COVID results and um, vaccinations and stuff while we've been here. We've been able to just use the um, COVID pass, the NHS COVID pass. That hasn't been a problem at all. We can do that and um, they just want that with ID. That's it. Obviously, Ella's 16, she doesn't have a uh, photo ID. I don't want to take a passport everywhere. That hasn't been a problem. Some places have been more diligent than others. Same with masks. It's going to vary state to state, but in New York specifically, um, it's not mandated that adults that are fully vaccinated or really any fully vaccinated people have to wear masks, but it's going to depend on the place that you're in. So we've worn masks throughout because the kids have to wear masks. And you know, you can't ask your children to wear masks if you're not prepared to wear them yourself. And it's truly not that big of a deal. Um, it's hot, super, super hot when you're full of things for the outside being super cold and then wearing something on your face. It can be warm, it's no big deal, you know, it's not uncomfortable. It just can get a bit warm when you've got the heating on inside after you've been kind of dressed for the outside. And some places will want you to wear a mask whether you're vaccinated or not, so be prepared for that. Um, but yeah. They're kind of all the updates that I wanted to give you for now. We're all checked in for our flight tomorrow. We've got a few hours in the city before we head back. Um, 
so yeah, we, we've just, we've really, really enjoyed the trip. And now to pack.